I do sometimes ask, what exactly am I paying for? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for all of the people who um, have come to my channel through study medicine in Cyprus in particular. Um, so I usually get a lot of emails and a lot of DMs and a lot of messages. Like I know I said contact me, so it is fine, but sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming, which leads to like a lack lack of enthusiasm in my response so I hope people don't take that the wrong way but yeah so I've decided to do a video with all the questions that I usually get asked so I frequently ask questions on studying medicine in Cyprus I really hope it answers all your questions um, if you have any other questions aside from these ones that I'm about to answer then yes feel free to contact me and ask me about that but yeah, I'm gonna try and go through as many as I can because honestly, over the past few years, I've gotten so, so many questions, but they're usually around, they're usually about the same thing, just maybe worded in like different ways. So the first question is, um, in no particular order by the way, but the first question is, is the teaching good there and what are the lecturers like? So um, I would say the teaching is good, I, good, is a good word for it yes yeah, good obviously there is an issue like some some lecturers are better than others some lecturers have more experience than others and then obviously if it's a case where they've changed a lecturer for your year group so the year above had like a good lecturer and then your year group has someone new it's not going to be the same quality but i'd say overall it's good i think these are just like the common issues that you have with teaching i haven't been to any school in the uk um, even the uni I went to in the UK, I wouldn't say their teaching was spectacular or amazing. I think there's always going to be like a little bit of discrepancies here and there. So yeah, the lecturers are good. The lecturers are good. They try their best to teach. A lot of the time we have doctors as lecturers, which is good because they're able to talk about their experience on the wards and in their specialty or whatever so yeah um they're nice you can approach them i'd say they're very approachable and they're very big on if you have any questions feel free to make a meeting um feel free to email me feel free to feel free to contact me anything like that they're actually very helpful on that front i'll give them that um next question is are students able to re-sit exams or do they get kicked out like other medical schools and someone else actually asked another question that was similar about them kicking you out if you fail and then making you do a biomed degree i've not heard of that before i'm i'm thinking is there something i don't know about this uni but yeah you can reset your exams so you do your exam you fail you can do a reset um if you fail again they allow you to retake the year you have two resets basically and the first reset is the one that you do after the exam the second reset is the one that you do when you retake the whole year and if you fail that reset where you take retake the whole year then that's where you have an issue but yeah you are able to reset exams and they are they are very highly unlikely to kick you out because you almost likely pass the reset um yeah next question how am i finding the course and life in cyprus as a uk student right so the two videos i did about um studying medicine in cyprus i think are very good summaries of how i am finding life um in cyprus as a uk student i wouldn't say much has changed um yeah much hasn't changed i i'm getting more used to it i mean i'm going into my fifth year of being here so i'm getting a lot more used to it but none of the things have changed <laughs> it's not really changed as in we still have the same poor selection of restaurants in my opinion in my opinion in the uk you have so much selection of like food go like places to go and eat here mm, you don't really have that um there is stuff to do you can go shopping they've opened a new mall you could go bowling you can go to the cinema they have escape rooms they've recently opened like one of them trampolining parks um the indoor ones so 
yeah it's okay it's not bad i'm not complaining i'm honestly not complaining it is okay i did talk about some of the negatives in that video and i don't want to touch on that again because i did get quite a bit of you know mixed reviews about the bad comments i had but i mean i was just being honest but yeah it's not bad it is different and you are going to feel like it's different but it's not terrible at all um for the most part everyone's really friendly um if you do try and make friends i think it's quite easy to make friends because everyone wants to make a friend in this new country that they're in and yeah you have everything that you need for the most part <laughs> for the most part you have everything that you need um how am i finding the course i think the course is okay i think the course is good in fact i'm enjoying the course um yeah i'm enjoying the course i think it's good i think they touch on like everything that you need to know obviously sometimes it does get a bit heavy and you feel very overwhelmed like that's how i'm actually feeling today i'm actually feeling really overwhelmed which is why i'm taking a break and recording this video but yeah you do sometimes feel quite overwhelmed um sometimes you're a bit clueless but i guess it does help having the people in the years above knowing them asking them for their advice that is very very key like definitely talking to the people in the year above you and asking them how they found that year that you're going into definitely helps by it like it helps so so much i'm not even joking but yeah um overall i think it's good i don't really have any major complaints at the moment i haven't had really any big complaints i do have one complaint my only one complaint is um basically i recently joined this organization and i'm an ambassador for studying abroad in cyprus and they the african caribbean medical Men mentors that's what their name is so if you're african caribbean and you're thinking about going to study medicine go to them but yeah so i recently joined that organization as an ambassador for my university and there were some questions because they have an ebook that they just recently released and they had some questions about um race like teachings in race and stuff like that and it just made me realize that this university does not does not does not like to talk about race they don't touch on it they don't it's almost like they don't even recognize that we have like there are that things are different for us um but i guess that's like a topic for another day <laughs> that's not let me not even go into it before these people find me and start yeah next question what aspects of the course structure stand out is it pbl based it's not pbl based mbbs which is the four-year course is pbl based but um the md6 program which i'm on the six-year course is not pbl based um it is so you have your pre-clinical years for years three and the first semester of year four and then after from second semester year four you are just doing clinical placements um and I really like that because I'm just, ah, get me there. I'm just really looking forward to getting to that stage where there's no more classes. But yeah, um, I don't know whether I would have preferred PBL based. I think I quite, I do quite like independent studying, but I've also realized I quite like to be guided. So whilst they have the lobs to follow for PBL based in MBBS, um, I do think it would probably get a lot for me and you really do have to stay on top of your game whereas with this yes you have to study I'm not telling you don't study but there is some leeway for you to have a bit of fun here and there um, so I like that I think yes I like that um, is my education good for what I'm paying for <laughs> the education is good don't get me wrong but for what I'm paying for <laughs> I don't know. I think for what I'm paying for, for me to be satisfied, I'd be expecting a MacBook, an iPad, all my textbooks provided. This is just for me. MacBook and iPad, all my textbooks provided, and maybe like an online subscription to something. Not a discounted online subscription. I want a free online subscription to something. That is what would make me satisfied, okay? <laughs> so that question is difficult, but yeah, the education is good and it's not terrible and I'm not too mad. But I mean, for what I'm paying for, I do sometimes ask, what exactly am I paying for? But hey, um, do you get to see patients from first year? Um, do I? I don't remember this was a while ago 
I don't, I don't think we saw patients in first year, I think from second year, because second year is when you start doing clinical skills and OSCEs and stuff, which is fine. First year is kind of like a walk in the park, and I do, whilst it does feel a bit pointless, it is kind of needed also, because you need to like ease yourself into the course. The course is a lot, so I'm not too mad at first year. Um, you get to see patients from first, from second year, first semester, so it's not too long to wait. And I think over the years, you do get a lot of patient contact to be honest. And also another thing is when you get lecturers that are doctors and stuff, if you strike up friendships with them, a lot of the time they do say like you can go and observe them in your own time if you wanted to. So I think that's good. Um, another question about education. Have I enjoyed my education so far and how is student life? I'm enjoying it as much as you can enjoy education I guess and student life is okay. It's it's good, like if you have a good group of friends, you're making it fun for yourself, you're gonna enjoy your student life. It's just important to find a balance and to just try and get out there and try and get out of your comfort zone a bit with making friends, um, especially if you're a bit introverted or a bit quiet. Yeah, just try and do that. I have had instances where um, people are coming and they wanted to meet up with me when they got here and I'm happy to do that, honestly I am, because I know how hard it is to come to a new country where you know no one so if that's the case you're coming and you want to like oh you can see my nail that's kind of embarrassing <laughs> but if it's the case where you're coming and you want to meet someone i don't know why i'm waving my hand about so much if it's the case where you're coming and you want to meet someone and like have a familiar face feel free to hit me up i will try i will try if i have time i'll do it like why not starbucks is starbucks is right next to me so yeah, I'll do it. I've done it before. I'm not too fussed. I don't mind. And if you want to meet my friends, I'll let you be my friends. Like, it's hard. It's hard here. So having as many friends as you can is key to enjoying your time here, I would say. Next question. Is there an entrance exam? No, there isn't. Thank the Lord. If there was an entrance exam, I wouldn't have applied. I wanted an easy access into medicine and I got it. Um, you get that with this uni, so that's a good thing. No entrance exam. Application process, what is that like? Um, can you get in with average grades or above average grades? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so application process, I actually did like a whole video on that, but I guess it's quite old. But if you can, try and check that out. I will like put a card thing or whatever you can put so you guys can see that, because I do talk about it in more detail and that was when it was all fresh in my mind. Now I literally, with all the anatomy, physiology, immunology, microbiology, brain and bit, everything that's in my head, I don't really remember it all too well. I know it was kind of straightforward though, I think I just emailed the uni, um, they sent me the form, I did the form, I paid the application fee, I'm pretty sure that was an application fee. Yeah, I think so. Paid the application fee, did the form, um, they sent me um, an interview, interview offer interview invitation yeah um quite quickly did that had back within a week or two if i remember correctly and it was actually very very straightforward um i think it was very easy compared to what i had gone through in the uk for the two med schools that i did have interviews for um i think it was very easy i think you did need to have a personal statement if i remember correctly but just use the one that you use for ucas <laughs> honestly just do that i think that's what i did um you can definitely get in with average grades or above average grades. I think definitely their um, their grade requirements are on their website, but from what I remember, it wasn't crazy. I think it's like AAB or something. And then I did IB. I I had I got thirty five points in IB, so use that as your ballpark, I guess. Um, you don't need to be exceptionally. You don't don't need to have exceptional grades. GCSE doesn't need to be A star, A star, A star, A star. A star definitely not but yeah I don't think it was hard I don't think it is hard um, I think it's okay it's as easy as a medical application process will get that's what I think someone asked a question about um, where do you get to do your clinicals and stuff like that so clinicals most for most people it is in Cyprus for most people it's in Cyprus um, if you're outside of the EU, it's most definitely in Cyprus. If, this is for MD6 by the way, if you are from the UK, it could possibly be in Barnsley. I don't, 
I don't want to talk too much about that because I don't know the main details but what I would say is if you have any questions about that definitely email the um, email address they have on the website and they will direct you to who you need to talk to and they will give you all of the information on, on that I don't want to say too much about that another question is it easy to make friends there so like I said yes because well COVID has kind of ruined stuff now but usually that first week you get in it's an orientation week and you're not really doing much like uni stuff you're just getting to know about the uni you're meeting new people and the um, medical school society usually hold like a few events I know I tried to do that when I was on the society I held a few events for that week to have like a freshers week of some sort because they didn't know what that was before but yeah um where, so they have this like family scheme where your parents are two people in the medical school maybe like second year third year whatever so yeah you can meet people that way but I think it's as easy as you make it for yourself that's why I said you really do have to try and put yourself outside of your comfort zone but then they also have like a first year group chat where everyone who's coming is in a group chat together so you can make friends based off that um is accommodation good or cheap I've actually had quite a few accommodate questions about accommodation is accommodation good or cheap so i was literally saying this today my snapchat private story <laughs> but um they're making a really big effort with accommodation they have built they have built like three or four more student student accommodation since i've been here so when i came there was literally only uni halls now there is like there's you there's six there's triangle there's uni halls trinity or something like that there's just loads and then they're building another one i literally just saw them constructing another one so accommodation is good you have options now you have options upon options and it, it looks really nice on the inside i haven't actually shown my room before um but maybe i should do that one day which is kind of a mess but <laughs> yeah accommodation is good studio accommodation very close to uni literally two minutes walk from uni amazing um bills included amazing if you do want to go outside of uni you're free to do that there are loads of apartments nearby um relatively good pricing but yeah you have lots of options accommodation is good and relatively cheap i would say depends how good you want it to be but yeah you get what you pay for um what country in my opinion abroad would be the most modern so i chose cyprus because to me it is the most modern from what i've seen it is the most modern it's not amazingly modern but the fact that like your student accommodation and the apartments they have here and everything and their malls is like all modern and new that's good enough for me um yeah yeah someone said i see cyprus is most modern and less of a culture shock and yeah that's literally why i chose modern um that's why literally why i chose cyprus i didn't want to go to bulgaria or romania because i didn't think that they would be modern enough for me i thought it'd be too much so cyprus is definitely the choice if you're looking for something modern and relatively close to the uk um someone said how is the medicine course like is it hard or manageable medicine is medicine <laughs> medicine is medicine it's it is manageable okay i'm not gonna say it's hard i'm gonna say sometimes it's very heavy very very heavy <laughs> but it's not hard um yeah i wouldn't say it's hard it's manageable you can do it anyone can do it you just have to put in the work um it's not a walk in the park that is for sure it's not um but literally i honestly think as long as you put your mind to it you're sure that it's what you want to do i mean you've applied to going abroad because you really want to do it then you, i most definitely think you can do it and you will do it trust me on that 100 percent um yes that's the end of the video i'm sorry if it was quite a long video but i literally get so many questions all the time and i've been meaning to this video for the longest time so this is an updated studying medicine in cyprus frequently asked questions everything in one go okay <laughs> i hope it was sufficient enough if you have any other questions aside from anything i have spoken about then do feel free to contact me i will try my best to respond um as enthusiastically as i can because i know sometimes i kind of suck at that but yes i really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you and if this is your first time on my channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button because i think i'm back i actually think i'm back i'm back <laughs> um and hit the like button as well if you enjoyed this comment any suggestions that you have let me know if you want to if you like these medical school videos 
hit the like button, comment, everything. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.